everyone should have a story to tell. Okay, guys, so work especially. It's one of those places where we come into work, especially after the weekend, and everybody, you know, moans about how they don't want to be there and everything else, kind of stating the obvious. And I'm sure a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the place I like to come to with that when I hear that from people or when they want to dump that energy onto me is I basically have like a coat of like Teflon. So it just kind of slides off one just in my mindset. But two, when they always say, I don't want to be here or uh, I don't want to work this weekend or whatever. I always just tell them, you don't have to just don't show up. And then they kind of, there's that moment where they look like, what are you talking about? And it's like, don't show up. What are they going to do? Come to your house and gunpoint and make you work? We don't live in that society. You don't have to. Well, I, I don't want to get in trouble or I need money. Okay, then. If you understand what the reward for doing the work is, then just do it. We all know, like, if we had a choice to be someplace else, we would be someplace else if our life was self-sustaining or we had that rich uncle or somebody that was just financing our lifestyle to where we did not have to work a 40 hour job and could just enjoy life. That's fine, but that's not the case. So let's live in the reality rather than complain about, you know, almost a fantasy of not coming into work. We know what we have to do. And again, the reward is larger than just getting the paycheck. The reward is actually, <sighs> taking on those challenges and overcoming them, not succumbing to them. Overcome, don't succumb to these challenges. I'll say it again, overcome, don't succumb to these challenges. And these challenges are not often put forth internally. They are external because these are things that we know that we need to have. So it's an external. Internal would be, I want to lose weight. I want to, you know, work on my anger issues. I want to do this, that. So we have a difference in what these are, but we still need to meet them and take them on and come and overcome rather than succumb to them. Um, that's just my thought on it. So it's just a way that I kind of flip that sort of thought onto people and get them to think where it's like, well, either you can agree with me or you can just take this load of somewhat negative energy and take it to the next person and see if they're going to, you know, uh, complain with you because misery does love company. And sometimes we all have a moment to commiserate and it's not to necessarily transfer negative energy to somebody else. We just need to vent out. But that's where if you have seen some of the other videos like delayed gratification, keeping it together, um, those are the kind of things that you want to increase your value in a non-financial way in order to be more productive and more of an asset to the people around you rather than, than them see you coming and thinking, oh gosh, where are they going to complain about again? Then they see you coming, oh, here comes, you know, a teammate. Here comes somebody who is going to be, you know, a positive influence. Here's somebody who's going to bring something with them that is a benefit to us all. So just think about that before you go in and talk about the obvious. I'm sure everybody there has a reason why they don't want to be at work. And I always like to say, we're all here against our will. It's, I mean, in, in a roundabout way, but we all do need to be someplace where we are earning an income. So in that, in that moment, before you decide that, you know, just coming in with something negative, why not ask people how their weekend was? Why not ask, you know, do you have plans or anything else? But we get to this point where we just go to the negative. We have to unlearn. That also goes to other videos, self-educate. Some of the best education you can do for yourself is unlearning something. Unlearn that, that habit, that pattern of coming in on a Monday morning and complaining when you just had 48 hours off. Think that I'm getting to come to a place where a lot of people don't get to come, which is a place where I can earn money to pay for my home. A lot of people don't have a home where I can pay for food. A lot of people don't have food. How did you get here? Did you get here by car? Because that's a pretty nice luxury. Did you get to talk on your phone or complain, you know, to other people out in uh, social media? That again is a luxury. So we've got luxury upon luxury upon luxury. And a lot of that is funded by the place that you need to be to pay for it. Um, it's very simple, very straightforward. Not to mention the bigger th opportunities that you have, such as medical insurance, dental vision, if you have a 401k savings plan. Let me just let this truck go by. 
And if you are in the right job, you have pensions, you have, there's all sorts of things. So keep those grand ideas in mind. When you're looking at a garden, don't focus on the one weed. Not when you've got a whole bunch of other things that are blossoming and blooming around you. I'm going to leave it at that. If you have experience, and I'm sure a lot of you do, please have that ace up your sleeve. Advice, maybe how you've handled it in the past, a comment just to say, yeah, I've been there too before. Experience, how did you handle it? And maybe somebody else can read and we can, again, create a dialogue. So um, this is all in place to help promote total health of mind, body, and soul. And I hope this finds everybody in a good place. And of course, likes, notifications, subscriptions, blah, blah, blah. You've heard me say it before. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.